So let's set our background size. Go to the three dot at the left hand side, I mean right hand side, then set to 988 to 1280. So as you can see, this is the uh, PC Lab interface. So the next thing that we are going to do is to uh, 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 import I mean select our background, the background that we are going to use, the background color. So as you can see, I choose the black background color, then go to your gallery, then import the resources that you are going to use and match them together. So you can actually get these uh, resources at the description of this video. So one by one, just watch how I'm going to match each of those resources together. This is the fire, the fire images that I'm going to use as a kind of a uh, 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 background layer to the pizza I'm going to use. So after position that one, the next thing is to select the pizza itself. Select the pizza. So position it. You can actually download this by yourself. Go to www.png egg. Png egg. Png e g dot com. So you will get all these images there. That is where I got the images. So you make sure that you position them very well. Let the light fire be showing at the back. Let it be up. Then the front, the light fire shouldn't be uh, 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 show, showing there. So that everything will look like real. So just watch as I'm positioning my own. So after doing that, then you lack. So go directly to uh, uh, the gallery. So go to your gallery, then you import the uh, around circle where you are going to place your test. Then lock it. So I'm trying at least to import all those necessary resources. So after I import them, then i will start with the, my right up so i want to use this line png to demarcate to demarcate so that my right up will be able to uh, uh, uh obvious it will be very obvious so you see the way i'm importing and merging them one by one then i did not let uh, the alignment left out in my design just watch so now it's turned to the right up so pizza so now go to your uh, font you can actually use the, the your own desire font but here yeah, i use a deeper deeper font so which i believe is actually actually good for uh, uh, this particular design so you see i use a curve test curve test so i curve the test to be able to be very uh, obvious so use the curve tails, then you curve it a little bit and you position it at the top of this uh, 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 the, the layer as you can see exactly the way you are watching my own so after doing that you follow the uh, rule of alignment by positioning it to the center so go directly to your uh, gallery as well then import this uh, ribbon position this ribbon and position it at the uh, 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 at the below the pizza just position it there then lock it it tells we carry that as well it will carry it as well then put your right up out and fresh that is pizza hot and fresh then choose your background i use adobe gothic let me see where i can use another one alio boot alio boot font i believe that one will be very okay because it is not too bold and not too tiny alio boot that is what i use here then you rotate to make it fitting 
and the rebound. The way the rebound was positioned, or uh, I mean, was a uh, position that is how you, you place the test, then you increase and let it fit in. Everything must be real. So, go to your test again, then type fat in fat in thinking of what to so fat in then slash takeout slash delivery yeah then the next thing to do is to choose the font for this so go to your fonts type then you type uh, biba 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 font biba font then you make sure that uh, the size of, of, of this is very very bigger then after that give it a line space spacing the test so position to the center now copy we can actually copy this i want to give it a color so the color i want to give it should be a a, a touch of uh, fire should be a touch of fire so as you can see so position in there then you should uh, try to go to your task then five dollar of five dollar up then click ok five dollar off so go to font type then archivo black archivo black then use the text spacing to make details closed i want to write it one by one so five dollar first then i will position it inside this circle then I will copy the test as you can see. Copy, then write off in capital letter. Then click OK and position it at the bottom of uh, below the five dollar. Yeah, We're almost there. So the next thing is to go to your write up again to your test. Then type use use promo code promo code sorry use promo code free pizza use promo code free pizza account for five dollar off for five dollar off any any large pizza you can actually put whatever you want here so i'm trying at least to uh, uh, write this out of my own discretion so you can actually write whatever you want here so i copy so now enter your information in the in this area right here click ok so we're almost there now the three tests i wanted to sorry i want to three to one the address i copy the same tells for me to be able to edit so that that is how to maintain the normal or uh, the font you selected the size of the font you selected the font type if you want to maintain it without going to choose a font always when you are typing it else just copy the one you already type then you copy it then you edit it so it will come out come in form of the previous one that you already selected the font type and all that so i'm trying at least to type the address so it's making four text so now that i've typed before i will try at least to be positioned then one after the other now i want to write the website of the company i want to write the website of the company www.repizza.com 
so i'll position that one the t- top two so now after i've done all this those are the tells i make sure and what i'm doing is this i write out all those tells that i want this flyer to contain so after that so i will try at least to be looking at the ways in which i composition them to make it more attractive and more real so now as it was i want to write the 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 brand name of the uh, 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 of the pizza fly i'm designing that is mayor restaurants mayor restaurants so that one will be at the top then we have a mayor restaurant pizza hot and fresh so mayor restaurant pizza pizza that is the brand name which must be obvious hot and fresh has to be the slogan then the right to write up the next write up will now include all what the mayor restaurant pizza is entails so after that i have to put the addresses and uh, other things that i know that it will be very what it is uh, look more attractive and will cut the attention of the uh, readers as well that is one of the importance of a uh, 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 design so just a visual uh, or visual part of the visual content that do communicate what the uh, sellers is until is up to so as you can see i'm trying at least to move in and set up everything so that so those are the requirements those are the things that i need to type here so after this you see the way i'm doing it i'm trying at least to move them and ring them make sure that the uh, one did not want to go along i mean a sealed its position so so and i'm i'm trying at least to minimize the space as well one must not be la- too large so that it will not be too obvious than others everything must be balanced that is the essence of creativity so you have to put all this into consideration and if you could if you are watching it uh, i mean following me you could discover that uh, i open uh, the ruler so the ruler i'm trying is to position some to the center some to the right to make sure that one did not even sell their boundary so watch as i'm arranging them As you can see, I don't, I did not blend anything here. What I actually did is this: I applied the shadow to the light fire, and I applied the shadow to the pizza. So then, so that when I mad them, they will be very, very what they very, very look like blending. And again, I use a black background since I'm using a shadow, black shadow, so that everything will be able to plumb very well and it will look more real so as you can see i'm trying at least to position those cells that i have typed before so that it will contain them without any uh, 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 overlapping so just watch just watch because at times you might be very creative and you might not know how to arrange your or play your way around the tells when you are designing any either logo or flyer, there are some tells, there are some uh, uh, write up that are supposed to be very, that need to be very obvious. So, like your brand name, that is what you are communicating to the what the people. The brand name have to be very obvious, as I said. So, after that, the next thing to do is to uh, choose the font so you discover that i'm trying to change this font achievo test i'm maintaining the three font type achievo test alio board then uh, uh the pizza the pizza board as well those are the three font i'm trying to maintain without uh, because at time when the font is too much it will spoil the design as well remember in designing anything Pay attention to the brand name it must be very obvious the slogan must not be too obvious than the brand name and your write-up and others must not be too obvious as well than the brand name because the brand name will tell what the company is a tell so as you can see i'm trying at least to uh, uh, follow the rule of alignment see the, the button uh, uh write up So as you can see you see the button right up 
So I'm trying at least to uh, uh, position them one after the other. So move the line, the marketing line up a little bit so that the tails will be able to, I mean the area will be able to accommodate the tails. So shift the tails up, getting take out delivery shift. Then you position shift all those, I mean the others, shift it to shift it up to because it still remain one task which is uh, the company the company website we're almost there so after this the next thing that you are going to do is to sorry i'm trying at least to rearrange the fire and the pizza to make to make it look like i blend them don't forget, download the resources at the description. You can actually go to www.pnghealth.com to download this, all these uh, uh, resources. That is where I do get all my resources in PNG format. So you can, you can actually search anything there, download it for free. So you are ring them one after the other exactly the way I'm doing it so space so I discovered that all the space here is not too much to contain all these tiles so that's the reason why it's giving me a difficult time to uh, 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 manage the space I don't want it to be too much backy I don't want it to be too much rough. I want it to look more professional. So one must be bigger. One must, some need to be very tiny. That is how I'm arranging them. So, after done with that, then you just need to move them to each other. But don't forget to leave a little, little space. So now www. Sorry. I have it been typed before. Then just choose the font type that you want. Allo bold. That is what I choose. Then increase it and position it at the last right up exactly like this then position it to the center give it a color out color touch of uh, fire so you see that it look like i put those toast inside the fire the way i put the pizza inside the fire So position to the center. I'm trying at least to arrange the orders. So I'm trying at least to arrange them to the center to make sure that everything, everything is being aligned very well. good we're almost there so now we're almost there just so that's all thanks for watching god bless you